Hey guys, welcome to another edition of Rotter 2 Brief. Every Saturday, new video. Today, I'm going to give you an update on a really cool bio pellet reactor experiment that you're going to love if you're in the market for a bio pellet reactor. And you don't want to spend a lot of money. A bio pellet reactor feeds the anaerobic bacteria in your saltwater aquarium which in turn gets rid of the nitrates in your tank. The nitrates are the last part of the nitrogen cycle. Starts out with ammonia, gets broken down into nitrites, and then nitrates. It's a cycle. It's the cycle of how things get broken down in your saltwater aquarium. Fish pee and waste and uneaten food, they start out as ammonia after they get broken down. The less of that stuff in your tank, the better, which is why you don't want to overfeed your fish. Don't feel sorry for them. Don't give them a ton of extra food. And the more fish you have, also, the more fish waste you have. I've talked about that in other videos. Today we're going to focus on the new bio pellet reactor that you can build for really, really cheap. So, a lot of you guys asked me, hey, where did you get the clear PVC pipe for your cool bio pellet reactor? I got it online. The unfortunate part of it is, now it works totally awesome. I love it. It's about a little over two feet long and it does an awesome job. Um, the clear PVC tubing that I got is a three inch PVC tubing and I got the end caps from Home Depot, the screws on the top and what else was I going to tell you guys? Yeah, they only sell the uh, PVC pipe, the clear, from where I found online, minimum of 10 feet lengths. It's kind of pricey. So, you know, that that that's still cheaper than, uh, much cheaper than a bio pellet reactor from the store. But here's an even better way. I was thinking about this for a while. Now, I get a lot of things from Bulk Reef Supply. I'm not really loyal to anybody. By the way, Bulk Reef Supply, if you're watching this, you're about to get more sales, I have a feeling, on your reactors, your bulk reef supply reactors. If you can give me a little kickback, I'd appreciate it. <laughs> so anyway, people have said, you cannot use a bulk reef supply bio pellet reactor for anything larger than 75 gallon aquariums because the reactors are smaller, they don't hold enough pellets, etc., yada yada. So I thought that can't be true. Let me see what I'm going to do here. So what I did was, now these reactors I think are around $50 from Bulk Reef Supply. And <clears throat> they come with you know, everything you need except the pump. And the pumps are really inexpensive. You can get anything that's going to work really. Bulk Reef Supply reactors are mainly used for carbon dosing or GFO. And they come with a central cylinder where you put your media in including the bio pellets for the bio pellet reactor. Well, I took that out. Taking that out, taking that central uh, container out gives you more space in your bio pellet reactor for bio pellets. So how does a bio pellet reactor work? Well, you have a pump connected to a hose. That hose goes in one end of your reactor. So the water gets sucked up from your sump which is the mini aquarium in your, uh, underneath your main aquarium. The water gets sucked up through the pump, through the hose, and gets pushed through the reactor. It fills up the reactor, okay? By filling up the reactor, it's going to cause these bio pellets to tumble. They need to tumble because if they don't, they'll clump together, okay? As the water fills this container, it's gonna rise to the top, fill the container, or the reactor, and the water is going to get pushed out the other hose, which goes back into your sump. So it's a little cycle. Why do this? Well, these bio pellets act as a food source for anaerobic bacteria. And by having them spin and present in the water, they are feeding the bacteria, which in turn grow, and those get rid of the nitrates. I took a, I think it's a 5 8 inch wide tubing and I spent some time and I just rammed it into the bottom of the 
uh, lid of the bulk reef supply reactor. So what's going to happen is, again, the water is going to get sucked up through the pump, through the hose, into the reactor. It's going to get pushed down through the tube. I think it's about eight inch long tube. The water is going to tumble these pellets and shoot it out the top. Now when you do this, you need a protein skimmer so the protein skimmer can export the nitrates and the bad stuff from the water, all right? From your bio pellet reactor. You gotta have the protein skimmer. A couple pieces of information for you. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you get alerted of new videos from Rotter Two Brief, which come out every Saturday in the morning. Also, I do a live stream show where I take phone calls and we have cool music and stuff. It's known as Reef Radio. Thanks again to CJ of CJ's Aquariums for coming up with that name. Um, check out the description in the video below. You can buy my book on how to kill ick from Amazon. You can read it on any other device as well. Any tablet, iPhone, whatever. With the free Amazon Prime. Uh, Amazon Prime. With the free Amazon Kindle app. Alright. It's only $2.99. It's about 75 pages. Really thorough. Talks about how to kill the ick parasite and the marine velvet parasite for good so your fish are healthy and they thrive. Take care. Happy reefing. And by the way, if you want to call into the studio here, if I'm not live on streaming, you can leave a voicemail and I'll use the voicemail on the Friday night live shows. I'll play them while I'm streaming live. That number is 630-503-6017. Now, it is a Skype phone number, but you can use a uh, regular phone or cell phone to call it. You don't have to call it on Skype. No charge to you. All right. So happy reefing. Have a great weekend. And I'll see you next weekend. <laughs>